Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part four of data handling. In that we'll see the chapter innings. A teacher randomly selects a student from a class of 40 boys. And what is the probability that this cho chosen student is a girl or a boy? So here there are total number of students, they are 40. So number of boys again, yeah, this is given as 40 boys. So number of girls is going to be zero. So probability they said of chosen student is a girl. So that will be choosing a girl. Probability of choosing a girl that will be zero. Always that will be this will be divided by the total number of students. So zero divided by 14. So that is going to be zero. So now for the boys. So for probability of choosing a boy. So there are 40 number of boys are 40 and total number of students so is 40 so 40 divided by 40 that is going to be 1. The histogram in figure shows the height in centimeter of 30 people answer the following questions so this is the histogram given so you can have a look later on this one so now they have said how many people have a height between 150 centimeter and above but less than 160 centimeter. So you can see here 150, but here, so how many are there? In between 150 and 160, that is going to be nine people. So we'll write here nine. How many people have a height less than 160 centimeter? So here we'll see for 160, less than 160 means we are going to include this part. So here is six and here is nine. So nine plus six, that is going to be 15 people. How many people have a height 170 centimeter and above? So 170 centimeter and above means from here to here this whole thing. So this for 170 is 5. Then for 180 is 2. And for this one 190 to 200 is 1. So 5 plus 2 plus 1. So that is going to be 8. So that is going to be 8 people. What percentage of people have heights between 150 centimeter and above but less than 180 centimeters? So now first let us see the total number of this one which starts from 140, from 140 to 200. So 140 to 150. So this is less than or equal to, this is the height and less than 150. We are not going to include in this part 150 but in the second part here we are going to include 150. So so from 140 to 150, that is going to be 6. You can see here 6. From 150 to 160, that is going to be 9. From 160 to 170, that is going to be 7. 170 to 180, 5. 180 to 190, that is 2. And 190 to 200, that is 1. So this is all written over here. So what we can see here we are for first thing we will see the total people so we are going to add all this one so when you add this one so you get 30 people are there so you have to find the percentage between what is the percentage as a 150 and above but less than 180 centimeter so now what we can see here so percentage between 150 to in between this 150 to 180 so that will be So we'll consider this one. So sorry for this one. So this till 180. So this part. So that is going to be 9 plus 7 plus 5. So that will be 21. So 16 plus 5 that is going to be 21. So that will be 21. Here in the denominator will be the total number. That will be 30. And since there is a percentage, we are going to multiply by 100. So this and this gets cancelled. 3 ones are 3 sevens are. So 7 into 10 that is going to be 70 percent. A spinner has seven equal sectors numbered one to seven. If you spin the spinner, what is the probability of landing on a number less than eight? So now, how many numbers are there? One to seven. So total number of outcomes is seven. So numbers less than eight means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there are seven. So probability will be favorable outcomes divided by the total number of outcomes. This is the formula. So that will be favorable outcomes means here, this is 7, 
total number of outcomes also is 7. So that will be 1. So landing on a number less than 8 will be, probability will be 1. Landing on a number greater than 1. So numbers greater than 1 means it is going to be, because the numbers are from 1 to 7. So we are going to, greater than 1 means we are not going to include 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these are the 6 numbers. So 6 and the probability will be favorable outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. So this is going to be 6. Total number of outcomes that is going to be 7. So 6 by 7. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel. So you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.